We're going to go ahead and fold our paper in half. We'll do a little bit of warm-ups on one side, and then we'll do a drawing on the other. Just do four different papers. This is the warm-up. I'm, I'm just going to make the line like this on mine. This is a warm-up to get your brain and working. So like one and two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First thing I'm going to do is hold my pencil three or four inches back from the tip just so that I can draw more lightly and it's easier to erase the lines that I don't need. I'm going to do a couple of circles, maybe three. One, two, yeah. darken my camera just a little bit. You can try it. It's hard. It's hard to make a good circle. She says you draw a lot of lines and then you pick out the ones she likes. That's, That's pretty good. I've done a drawing class before. I used to do it for like four weeks and then I stopped because. Yeah, but this is like doing your gymnastics. If you don't practice, sometimes your brain and body forget how to connect right. We're going to add two curved lines. The first one is the nose line. So on this first one, I'll just draw it straight down. Pick one. I did a bunch. Then I'm going to curve the next one and curve the next one the other way. So we can put any kind of nose on this nose line for a little warm up here. I'm just going to put an oval. So your nose has to be on the nose line. Halfway down kind of? Yeah, around halfway down. Even, even on both sides, right? Mm hmm. And then we'll go ahead and put some eyes. You can do any kind of eyes you want. I'm just going to do some ovals right by my nose. Hi, Karen. Then we're going to put more ovals over here or whatever shape you decided. But when we have a skinny side and a wide side, this side is going to have a skinnier eye. And on this one too, I've got a skinnier side over here, so it's going to have a skinnier eye. Not shorter, just skinnier. Hey, Betsy. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Michaela. Oh, wait. Hello? Oh, hello. Hey. And you can add a mouth. You can make a smiley mouth, frowning mouth, any kind of mouth you want. It'll be even on the front view, but when we get to the wide side and the narrow side, I have to put more on this side, less on this side. Same thing over here, even if I'm doing like an open mouth. More on this side. I can hear him. I don't think he can hear me. Less on I this think they side. Yeah, it didn't work. But it worked. Karen? I'm Yes. Oh, okay. Just to I... see if you could uh, hear us or not. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. We had a um difficulty with with me being heard oh, okay no problem but i think we're good now and just so you guys know our internet like crashed earlier today so if i just suddenly disappear it is from technical difficulties Ooh. <laughs> technical difficulties are technical always difficulties fun. yeah always fun i had technical difficulties my keyboard ran out of batteries as i was cooking uh -oh. <laughs> that was darn technical Ahead. Okay. And we're going to go down here and draw just two more circles. Can erase all this stuff in between. You can put the nose line anywhere you like. You can just do a slight curve or you can do a really curvy curve. <laughs> you can have space. We'll flip it over. Just, oh, yeah, flip it over. You the back. Flip it over. There's another page. Just practice. Oh. And this time we're going to use an eye line. So on the first one, I'll make the eye line. Yes. Now on the next one, I'll curve the eye line. Oh, 
kind of hard to get And again, you can draw your nose whatever shape you want. It just has to go on the nose line and it has to be located on the same point. So I used where the two lines cross to start my little raindrop nose. I have to start at the same point over here. Raindrop nose. I'll put in the mouth. If I have a wide side and a narrow side, I have to remember to do wide on the wide side, narrow on the narrow side. Even if the mouth is open, more on the wide side, less on the narrow side. So the eye line is going to have the eyes. So if you want to draw circles, or ovals or squares, doesn't matter, but they have to sit on the eye line. And if you have a skinnier side of the head, it has to be skinnier on that side. So now when I have one curving up, same thing, except we're gonna use some foreshortening. So my circle eyes are going to turn into oval eyes. And this one is going to be a little bit skinnier since it's on the skinnier side. And that's how you can change your head directions. You can draw rabbits, dogs, cats, any kind of head you want, and you can turn them just by using the nose line and the eye lines. Look up, look down, look up, look right. Try it out sometime. And now we'll move on to some anatomy with Zelda characters. Today we're doing Mipha, Zora Princess, another one of these fish people. Ah. Uh. I'll start with a circle that's maybe the size of a quarter and a little bit on the left because we have to leave some space for her tail head here. Hurry up, you can't, you can't, you can't fart around. Okay. Yes or no? We've got our circle and our character is looking to the left, really to the left. So we're going to do a curved line that leaves just a skinny, skinny crescent moon shape over there. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see more clearly. Whoops, too much. Whoops, focus. There we go. And she's looking pretty much straight ahead, so the eye line is going to be straight. Drawing really, really lightly because we'll erase these later. And then she doesn't have a nose, but this part of her head connects right down into her face. So we'll use that as a nose and stick it right on the nose line. And we'll just take it up next to her head there. We can erase out the edge of the circle because we won't be able to see that anyway. And then on this side, we'll have a gentler curve. Like that. You can almost draw it like a little hat. And then her eye, as you can see, is right underneath that curve that we just drew. So I'm going to put a little bit of a check mark in here. I'll have a long line and then a shorter line for her eye. And 
then we'll put in part of an oval for her actual eye, her iris. And she has that tiny little white spot of light that's catching in her eye, so I'll put a little tiny oval in the upper part there. And then we'll put another oval, or half of an oval, right underneath that spot so she has a pupil. I'll zoom in for a second so you guys can draw that in. After it focuses, there we go. And she's got a thicker lash line, so we're going to darken in the tart part right here of her eye, give her a little flip at the end. And then we'll use that nose line as a tool to put her mouth on a little bit wider on one side, a little bit narrower on the other side. If you want to draw her actual lips, you can put one more curve down here for the bottom lip. And then for the top lip, you'll put a U, a tiny, tiny little U right on that line. Hi, Dad. So if you don't like the look of the lips, you just erase top and bottom. And you can just leave her mouth line. It's up to you. Oh, save those. No, I said save the coupons. And she has a little pointy chin, so we're going to change this circle by adding a little point. Racing out that circle. And then we'll draw the rest of her head here that looks a little bit like a dolphin tail. We're going to take a nice big curve up to the side. You can see I drew lots and lots of lines to give myself lots and lots of choices. And then I just take away the ones that I do not like. What is the name of this um, person? This is Mifa. Mifa. The princess, I think, of the Zoras. I don't know if she is in this one, but in one of the games, I know she's a princess. Yeah. And you can see on her tail, it's kind of like what we've been talking about with the face when we have something that's close to us and it's bigger, wide side, narrow side. So on her tail here, if it helps you, you can put a center line near the bottom here and now we've got our wide side and our narrow side so we've got a narrow part of the tail and the wider part 
of the fook. Hey, Betsy, is something a spoiler if it happens at the very beginning of a game? Um, depends on how much people want to know before playing it, I guess. What? I guess it depends on how sensitive the person who's hearing the spoiler is. Uh, like me, I don't even like to watch movie trailers. If I'm really excited about a movie, I want to know nothing <laughs> when I go in. My mom's the opposite. Whenever she's browsing around on Netflix and like there's episodes to the series, she'll read the summary of all the episodes. <laughs> I'm like, why? Aren't you going to watch it? But different people, different stuff. Yeah, because I was just, you know, thinking. And she's also, got, I guess, dorsal fins on the side here. We're going to go from above her eye and come right around. And we'll just start with kind of curved rectangles at first, and then we'll refine the shape. Same thing going on, though. Close one is wide, and then the one on the other side of her face is skinnier and narrower. Is that you singing, Michaela? Oh, sorry. You've got a good voice, girl. Thanks. We've got those rectangles in. We're going to add just one more kind of triangular piece. Hey, it's going to suck when my 10-year-old granddaughter draws a better figure than me. <laughs> Y'all know I'm peeking over her shoulder. <laughs> hey, do you guys have any trouble with power outages? Not power outages. I just had the internet going out for some reason. Have you been getting power outages? Yeah, around here. Uh, I guess like something about it's so hot that something keeps happening that keeps like set, like turning off the power. Um. Yeah, and it, it kind of sucks because we used to have a guy who was like with the company mm -hmm. where he was where he used to be able to get the power put on right away. But um, he moved away. So now it takes longer for the power to come back on. Uh, well, make sure your laptop and devices are charged for any emergency outages. <laughs> yeah. One thing that me and my mom do during the outages is we read to each other. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'm reading her Harry Potter. Wow, I haven't read that since it first came out, like, what, 10 years ago, 12 years ago? <laughs> yeah, you know, me... Like, me and Mom enjoy it. It's fun reading the book and getting, like, all these small moments that didn't make it into the movie. Mm-hmm. All right, we've got a pretty good fish head here. we got to put on a body. So we're going to start with a neck, and her neck is pretty long. Maybe to the end of that fin there. And then we'll draw three parts to her body. We'll have an oval that represents her rib cage. And we'll have another oval that represents her hips. And then we'll have the shape that connects them. So we're going to have one oval up here and it's going to tilt slightly that way. What does your client 
connection is encrypted mean? I think it means that Zoom has some security thing up so that our meeting is safe. I don't know uh -huh. all the logistics of it though. But encryption, that sounds like security measure. Oh. I'm glad our meeting is safe. Yeah. To come in and secretly draw. I know, secretly drawing now in this free drawing class. How dare they? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we could get on the bad kid list and they'd like it. So. <laughs> and I'm going to do a sideways oval. Hack this class. Okay. And then we'll connect the two up. It's gonna be a little flatter in front and then a little curvier in back. It's always weird for me to see actual pictures of Zora because for some reason, whenever like my brain thinks of one of these guys, I always think they have like really, really tiny legs. Yeah, they have short legs, but I wouldn't call them tiny. Yeah, but my brain, it's like my brain, like whenever I imagine them, like they uh -huh. have. They have shorter legs in your imagination. Yeah. Just like we did with the face, we're going to put a center line. This is obviously not the nose line, but a center line for the body so we can remember we have a wide side and a narrow side. And we're going to do one more line. She has these fins that stick out kind of like a jacket. We're going to imagine it's like a jacket coming down the body and then flaring to the back. Oh, hey, Betsy, do you check out like um, the anime? The, the, that show I recommend you watch the fight scenes of? Not yet. I'm still trying to get through uh, Odd Squad before our subscription runs out. What's Odd Squad again? A little kid show. I like teaching you math. Or today I learned about, let's see, what did we learn about? Oh, we learned about how the days of the month are different depending on which month it is. But um, it's written by some uh, some of the comedians or something like that that my sister likes. Every once in a while, there's a really good joke. So I watch it for that. Plus, they're cute little kids running around. What's not to like? Betsy, are you done with school? Uh, for the moment, I've got one summer class coming up. So I'm, I'm right in between having ended spring, but summer's starting soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy in between. Thank you. Abby's last day was, was it today, Abby? Oh, your summer vacation starts now. All right. No, it was yesterday. Yes. Oh, yesterday. It started yesterday. All right. Congratulations. We're going to have another one over here, but it's going to be skinnier just by a little bit. Oops, not that long either. You're officially a fourth grader now? Oh, excuse the heck out of me. Yeah, okay. Oh, fifth grade. Fifth grade. I have eight of these little grandkids. I I lose track. <laughs> I get close, don't I, Abby? Mm -hmm. And we're going to add on some legs. So on one side here, I'll start my leg shape. So the top part of the leg is a little bit like an oval, so we can use an oval. Just a small one. In your one on the other side. Is it tilted at all? A little bit, yeah, a little bit backward this way. Okay. At first when I saw these characters, I thought they all looked like they were tipping forward a little bit, but then I started wondering if maybe they're imagining this tail weighs something. 
So it's a counterbalance to them leaning forward. I don't know. I'm just Then we're going to add a little bump for the knee in front. And we've been learning about the lower legs, how we typically have a straighter side for the bone side, your shins. And then we have a bunch of muscle up at the top here. And it'll get narrower at the ankle. Do I need to, um, with this virtual online stuff, do I need to sign Abby up with Sancho somehow? Oh, that's a good question. I don't think so. Kristen asked me to take attendance while she's recovering. Okay. But uh, she, has, she has got a, I think she is in the system because she came once a long time ago. Okay, yeah, she should still be in there then. Same thing on this side. I'm going to have a straight kind of front part of the leg. And then if you can see any of the leg behind, I don't think you can. Maybe just a little bit at the ankles here. I think my legs got shorter. I must have been influenced by Michaela's imagination. <laughs> And she's got some flipper feet. They get really wide at the end. She's only got one big toe and the rest is like a fish fin. So we'll put in that big toe first. And then we'll group all the other toes together. And put a little bit of webbing right in between like a frog. On the other side, the foot is more sideways. So we're going to come out a little bit this way and then have the toes at the end. A little bit like a slide. And one big toe. And the rest will get hidden behind that other foot. Hey, easy, easy girl, easy. It's just the cat. It's just the cat. She lives here too. Come here, baby. And notice the rest of the toes are a little bit higher than the big toe. When it's higher on the paper, it's farther away. So these toes are farther away from us. Hey, You're fine. Don't worry. This is just for fun. I got that. That looks good. <laughs> and then we'll put on an arm. You can only see one of them, so we only have to draw one of them. Woohoo! So her hand, first I'm looking at her hand, is going to end right at about the same spot as her jacket fin. I'm going to place a little circle here. Tell me that's where her hand is going to end up. What do you mean jacket? Oh, never mind. Yeah, I know it's actually like her body, but or some kind of fin, side fin. But to me, it looks yeah, like it's a thing. neat design choice. Mm -hmm. And then her shoulder is going to be way up here near the top of her body. And her elbow will be somewhere in the middle. So 
this top portion here, I'll think a little bit like a baby carrot. Because even though they're rounded on both sides, you've got kind of a thicker end and then a little bit narrower end. Oops, I raised your head fin. That's going to overlap. Mine is too steep. And from her elbow, this side will be pretty flat, pretty straight all the way down the hand. But on the other side, a little bit like when we were drawing the lower leg, we'll have a little muscle bump. And the wrist is straight. Sometimes I do this. Then for her hand, let's zoom in a little closer here. She's got all of her fingers in a fist, which makes it easier to draw. First, I'm going to clean out that space a little bit, get rid of any lines that are on the inside. And I'll start with this thumb here because it looks just like a check mark, long and then short. Long line. Short line. Sideways check mark. And I'll go a little bit beyond that check mark and come downward from her first finger, or the edge of her first finger. And make a little bump at the bottom, a little bit like a backward J. Put in another little bump. And one more little bump. And if it goes past the hand, that's okay. You can just widen out the hand. Like that. And you've got this nifty bracelet with like a heart cutout. And draw. I'm going to give myself a lot of space, maybe make it a little bit bigger than it actually is. I'll add a little curve up there and two curves down here. And I want to make sure that my heart cut out, the bottom of the heart, lines up with that point right there. I'll we'll have one wide side of the heart and one narrow side. She also has some lovely drapery. I'm going to lighten up my lines here. And from underneath her head fin, I'll swoop down and around. Going past her body. Then we'll draw a line around that line, a little check mark type line. Coming up and around. And we'll do one more coming down and then up and around. One more bump. 
pump on the outside here. And that goes diagonally down. That way. And this piece up here by her shoulder has a little ruffle type effect going on, so we're going to make kind of a crazy S. And go down, and then maybe make one more before it ends. You've got your wiggly little line. Anywhere that there's a curve, a change in direction, we're going to add a little line going up to show the ruffle over here too. Up. Down here, maybe a little one. And my head fin kind of got in the way, but there is a jewel, an oval jewel up here, holding it all on, I'm sure. And it also drapes down the back, so we'll add a little bit of fabric on the back here. Oh, she has fins on her arm. I did not notice that. You can add those on then. Easy little supporting piece right there. Hey Betsy. Yeah. Have you ever played Phoenix Wright? Yes, I love those games. Yeah, oh, I'm thinking about getting it. Do yeah, it. But, yeah, but recently um, I convinced my dad to get me Luigi's Mansion. Oh. I got the expansion pack so I don't think I can like get it right away. <laughs> yeah, me too. Got too many games to play. Yeah, like I might be Yeah, look I I I'll, I can pay for it, but I feel like it sounds too greedy of me to ask for another one so soon after getting the the other the first game. Well, that's very mature of you. Thanks. <laughs> Do what you can while you've got her. Question? Yeah, ask Betsy. She's the teacher. Show her what you got. You hold it up here and show her what you got. Up here, get closer. Can you get closer so I can see? Oh, it's coming in nice. And what's the question? You asked me how do you put the arms on? No, I know how it's just like. I'm trying to do it. Like, Watch her. Show her what you my got. My body is too long. No, it isn't. Show her what you got, and she'll show you how to do it. Yes. The body's too long? Super good. There's a way to fix that. If you think your body is too long. But it's not, Betsy. But it's not? No, look. Let me see here. Let me get your video up here so I can see. Oh, yeah, it's not too long. It's not too long. That's the way this, this is a cartoon character. Yeah. How many people have you seen with flipper feet? You're doing good. I was just doing this. I'm going to refine her body shape a little bit more so she's not so smooth and kind of tubby. So down here, we're going to just angle it off. We've got about 10 minutes. I think we can maybe do her head jewelry and maybe her necklace, but probably not her belt. <laughs> There's too many intricate shapes. So up here, 
I do. Moon shapes. Yeah, you can use circles and then circles on the inside, and that will make nice moon shapes if you just use the power of circles. So I'm going to put my three circles here. And then I'll put a smaller circle touching the outside there. So I'm left with a moon shape. And then we'll just erase that outside line. Got our moons, and then there's this little jewel on a tassel that hangs down. I'm just using a little oval shape. Then on that top moon, we're going to put the letter V really wide. And you may or may not have room to put this shape on. That's OK. I turn it into a diamond, but this one's going to go down long and hook. Now I'll come back up that hook, follow this back around. And I am out of head, but I'll add just a few little bumps that look like they're going around the other side. So you can tell that's sitting on her head there. I think the neck on mine is a little bit thick. I'm going to thin that down, push it back a little bit. And then we'll add her necklace, which is almost right under her chin here. It has another heart cut out, so remember we have to have one wide side and one narrow side. We're going to really simplify this. <laughs> And we need another one of those moons, so I'm going to draw a circle here with another circle inside. So that I have a moon shape on top. And we'll just draw a couple little circles to make a chain. And up and around.
Betsy. Yeah. I think you have a tangent on that neckline going into the fin. fin. I do. Thank you. Move that. No, right to the right. See that right where the pointy fin comes there? Is that? Oh, oh yep. I do there too. See if I can move it down. Have that come up. A little bit more clear. And then below the moon, we're going to have a tiny raindrop. And then one more big raindrop. I am glad you modified it because that. Yeah, it's really intricate. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and put our little chain that goes back up. And it's 457, so I think that's about as far as we can get. Today is what? 527, 20. Wow, fun. Yeah, we got through it. Good job, guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to end this meeting so I can go start story arch. I'll see some of you over there. Okay. I'll see some hey. of you. Abby and I have to run errands, but thank you. All right. See you next time. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.